Hello everyone. Um, I make my tie because people told me that I don't look too professional. So you like it this way or this way? Well, let's do it this way. It's a little bit more. In today's video, we will talk about dynamic balance that conclude our three lesson series in balance. Uh, we're gonna, you know, my series has got about 189 lessons that I plan at the moment. So we're just in the beginning and, um, you know, I just hope, you know, that this, you take just this little information and, you know, it help you practice uh, in your dancing. Uh, it's all, all basic information and fundamental that can apply to any kind of dancing. Okay, so please look at this video that, let me have a look if my bow tie is done properly, like Michael Barr taught me many years ago. It's a bit tricky. Ah, it's okay. Let's have a look. Maybe. Does it look right? Hmm. So, so. You know, without the mirror, it's a bit tricky to do a bow tie if it kind of okay kind of and as i said you know the video explain to you the dynamic balance and uh, if you need you need to go through the process and and, and learning um, the static balance in every step the offset balance and the dynamic balance uh, that's the only on my point of view the natural way of uh, walking which is you know our form of dancing uh, dancing is based on walking um, and you know I hope it helps your uh, progress or feeling this is something that you need to do by yourself first before you even try and dance with your partner and then you can do it as a couple that you need to synchronize that uh, I hope you have fun and looking forward for the next lesson uh, as I say it's a series of 189 lessons that I've at the moment written down so it's gonna be a long journey so let's enjoy see you enjoy the lesson okay as you see here we have a red mark on this lady uh, hip joint a little bit higher but that's what it should describe the, the point of gravity basically and then you know I'm gonna make a line here And you will see that that red dot is outside. Okay, can you see it's moving in order to tell this foot where to go? Okay, so the red, sorry, let's do it again. So that is moving, which is the weight point of gravity is moving outside the base of support okay can you see this foot has not touched the floor yet oops let me take away that it has not touched the floor now it's gonna touch the floor now and while the center of gravity is outside the base of support and so as we described before the base of support at the moment is that foot the red dot is outside in order to be able to take a step you need to go from static balance which is here no movement offset balance and then will be a dynamic balance. Obviously, if I would ask this girl not to take a step, she would have be able to move up to here without moving the leg. But she was actually instructed to take a step so the leg will move there. Okay, so that's a very important part of movement. Many people think that you know they can move without moving the weight, they can use the leg, they can I don't know, push from the foot. 
but actually the most important thing is that the weight is traveling through the foot until enough balance position so you're able to take a step okay now that uh, is applied uh, whenever if you do a um, walking forward or backward is exactly the same idea so if for example if we make this girl now I'm gonna use the same video obviously walking backward as you see it's not that the leg move without moving so this the red need to move in order to tell where the where the leg should go so it's very important that you see that you actually apply this movement through the base of support going from again static offset and dynamic now that also apply uh, if you are going let me see I should have another video here apply if you are up on the toe huh? If you're up on the toe, it's the same thing. Now the base of support obviously is very small now because she stand on the toe. As you see here, she's nearly on flight. We consider this on flight at the moment, it's still there, but uh, it's moving. See, it's still on flight. Basically, the foot touched the not even now maybe, but the weight is. Oh, sorry, let me do it again. Oops. The weight is outside the base of support in order to take that step naturally. And that's the same here. So this is actually perfect movement. The weight has committed to locomotion, therefore you take a step. So it doesn't matter which height. If I go further on my video here, I asked this girl to be down. Same situation. Yeah. Even now we are down. So we, let's say we do tango. Now that. Let's say there. So that you can take a step. Now obviously, as you see, the distance between the distance between this foot and this foot is a little bit is a little bit bigger than what you had when she was a normal height or up on the toe obviously uh, we're going to discuss this on the next uh, not next lesson but in the future uh, why is that happen what is the mechanic of it what is the what we have to be careful about but the same thing to, on today's lesson, you know, that right thing needs to move. If that right thing no, don't move, we are not able to take a walk properly. I hope, you know, this uh, dynamic balance lesson was helpful. Uh, please, as I said in the beginning of the video, dedicate some time to understand and master this technique. And then, uh, you know, you will see the benefit in your dancing. So until next lesson, goodbye, enjoy, and live, love, and laugh. Thank you. Bye.